welcome to 2021 <laughs> happy new year i know it's late but i just want to wish you a gentle 2021 hopefully it's a kinder year for all of us we are still in the middle of another lockdown with a curfew here in amsterdam and so we've just spent the weekends going to the forest and walk in the national parks just to be in nature and enjoy the outdoors um so i just hope that you stay healthy and and well also i have online writing workshops with the international writers collective here in amstrom so we meet online every tuesday and it's just something that i need to keep my creative mind busy and stimulated <laughs> Today, I just want to update you on my planner slash journal lineup for 2021. So this year, I decided to go back to my traveler's notebook by the traveler's company. I'm just using three inserts and I wrap the cover with pages from, I think, Flow magazine. And I just really like how they look and I'm using three inserts um, first is the monthly insert which is basically gonna be like the monthly overview in a bullet journal where I will write down things or appointments or you know other events that would happen this month or in the next month and yeah so I can have a look at my month the second one i'm using the uh, weekly insert and this is basically my main <laughs> bullet journal if you may say so um, i'm going to write all the tasks for the week on the right page on the right side of the page and on the left side i will write down you know which task to be done when so if I have like 15 tasks on the right side, on the right page, then I will decide, okay, I will do three tasks on Monday, the next three on Tuesday, um, etc. So I can just see my whole week on the right and my daily task on the left side. And the third one, I'm using the daily insert with the timestamp. Um, and for this one, I just want to basically track my days so I know how many times I spent for work, how many times I spent binging on some <laughs> YouTube videos. And yeah, I think it's just something to help me be mindful about how I spend my time. And I can see, okay, do I have enough rest or have enough play and entertainment do i work too much do i work too little and you know sometimes we ask ourselves where do our time go where um wh what have we done you know um last week and it's just a nice way to keep track on it i'm also using um the traveler's notebook another traveler's notebook for my um, long form journaling, you know, stream of consciousness kind of thing to process my thoughts and feelings or working on some journaling prompts. And basically this one is just gonna be um, 
my handwriting basically not decorated or embellished or anything maybe just have a, a picture or two but it's gonna be mostly handwriting and I will just use it if I feel like I need to process something in my life or in my mind so I'm not gonna write here every single day the next insert is going to be my kind of monthly recap journal so let's say it's January 2029 2029 2021 and I'm just going to write down okay in January what are some of the highlights uh, what are the things I want to remember maybe the lessons I learned or um, great things that happen or you know courses that I participated in just to have a quick recap so I can look back and see oh this is me and uh, this is who I this is who I am in January 2021 and then I can see if something is changing or evolving in the next month and the next month and yeah so that's all so this year I really want to spend more time with my sketchbook and I want to draw more, try new techniques and yeah, basically just keep up with my sketchbook practice and that is one of the reasons why I might do art journaling less so that I can sketch and draw more <laughs> so um, I think that's why I, I keep my journaling slash planning system quite minimal this year because I want to spend more time experimenting with uh, my sketchbook and maybe I will do art journaling in a slightly different manner I think of course I will still do collage and and play with stickers and stuff but I would also like to start drawing and I know like illustrate my journal with my own drawings so that's what I'm trying to do more um, this year and hopefully some of the things I draw in my sketchbook can um, can be turned into products for my shop <laughs> which I'm planning to do shop updates um, in February but I don't know if that makes sense because um, work has been busy actually so anyway this is my favorite thing um, this month the Sarasa vintage pen and I've been wanting these pens for years but I finally got them for myself as a New Year's gift um, and oh my god I just I, I love them they're really convenient to write with and the colors are just so vibrant and beautiful and I feel like I don't want to stop writing when I'm writing with these pens. They're just so, so nice to write with.
So I haven't been uploading YouTube videos for quite some time because I am working with um, an Indonesian stationery brand and we are working on creating a gratitude journal together and I'm very happy for this collaboration. Um, the brand is called otterhands.co and I will link the details down below. But yeah, we've been collaborating and I am so happy to develop the concept for this gratitude journal and work on the floral illustrations for the journal. Um, and it's just been, it's been such a fun collaboration because I think we have the same style, the same taste and also the same vision on what kind of journal we'd like to create and how we can add value to that and yeah it's just been very a very nice experience i think that really helped me to go through 2020 because we first um we started this project july 2020 last year and yeah finally the the journal is, is ready and I'm very happy. They also created a video teaser about the journal and I will leave it here before I say goodbye so you can see the teaser and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you around. I hope you're healthy and well. Bye! When I slow down, I can feel the warmth of the sun against my skin, taste the bittersweet of my morning coffee, and smell the scent of ink and paper as I flip the books I'm reading. When I'm not in a rush, I can take my time to smell the flowers, to appreciate their beauty, shapes, colors, and uniqueness despite their likeness, and be reminded of how I myself can also take the time I need to be myself, to grow my roots and shoots, to slowly open my buds and fully blossom. When I choose to be kind to others and to myself, to do one thing at a time, to pause, to breathe, if I allow myself to be fully present, that magical feeling will fill me in an instant wave of gratitude and appreciation towards life as it is. Then I will grab my journal and write things down. A list, a string of words, a doodle, a collage, anything to remember the feeling. To remind me that the things I can be grateful for are already here, all around me, patiently unfolding their petals and blooming throughout my days.